Hello and welcome to this episode of T-Tech. Today we're going to install the Unbound DNS server in FreeBSD. So the first thing we want to do is log in as root. And then I'm going to clear the screen here. And the only thing I've done is, let's open up etsyrc.conf, is I've enabled a static IP here with ifconfig underscore em0. You can do that during installation or after. And I've also enabled NTP, so the network time protocol. And uh, you can look at the handbook for further instruction on that. We're not focusing on that for today. Now, in Vi, if you want to use it, hold down Shift and tap Z twice to save, or um, type colon WQ, so write and quit. And that will save the file. So what we need to do first after that is check connectivity with a ping. So we're going to ping Google. Whoop. All right, we have connectivity. And uh, make sure you have that before proceeding. Now we're going to run package with no arguments, so just package by itself. And uh, here we're going to answer yes to it because we want to install the package management system. And this will take, you know, anywhere from a few seconds to maybe up to two minutes, depending on your internet and system. Now, we want to run package install unbound. Now, it will automatically update. You can run package update, but it will do that for us. So, we're going to double check the packages to be installed and the amount of disk space they need. And that's fine, so we're going to say yes, hit enter, and let's do package info to verify that they're there, and they are. Now, um, FreeBSD stores the configuration files of packages or ports in user local Etsy, and that's where Unbound has its config as well. So we want to back the original file there, user local Etsy unbound, unbound.conf. We want to make a backup so we have a place to roll back to if we make a mistake. So we want to back unbound.conf up to a file called unbound.conf.back. Once we've done that, we're going to remove the original file. Just like this. rm and then unbound.conf. Alright, so now that we've removed the original, Let's make a new one, user local Etsy, unbound, unbound.conf. And the first thing we want to type is server, colon, and colon, that is. And um, I don't know if it's coming on the screen, that's why I repeated it. So the, the server is a clause, and under that clause, it has all options that have to do with the server configuration. We're going to enter down twice and tap in. And then we're going to run type interface colon. And this specifies which interface Unbound will listen for requests on. So if you have more than one interface on your server, you can restrict Unbound to only uh, listen on the one interface. You can do that by specifying the, the IP address of the interface. We don't need to have a specific interface in this setup, and most likely you're fine using this as well. We're going to use 0.0.0.0, .0 and that means all interfaces. Under that, we're going to enter down and tab in, <coughs> and we're going to do access control next. So we want to say what uh, networks of computers uh, or subnets can ask the server for information. So we're going to say access dash control colon space and then here's where, where we put our subnet and my LAN subnet in, in this network is 192.168.0.0 slash 24. So you want to type what's called the network ID followed by the CIDR of your network. 
and it just means if those first three are there, that's the network. We, we want to allow that network. And then under this, our next access control is for the loopback of this server itself. And we also want to allow the IPv6 loopback. But the last two, um, we want to deny all other IPv4 networks. And all other IPv6 networks as well. So that's all we need for our basic server clause. We're going to expand on this in a minute. Um, but that's our server clause done. So um, with just that, it's not going to be helpful because if it doesn't know a domain name's IP address, it won't be able to answer um, the client. So we have to make a clause called forward-zone. And this clause tells Unbound where to forward the client's DNS requests. So same thing, enter down and tab in. The first thing we want to say in this one is name, and then in quotes, put a dot. And this is for all domain names. Like the, uh, the dot is like dot com, dot net, dot org. We're just saying all top level domains. For anything we want to do forward adder, and what we're doing is telling Unbound to ask these DNS servers what the IP addresses of the domain that it's being asked about. So these two are the ones I use. You can use any public ones you like or even internal ones. That doesn't matter. The last thing we want to put is forward dash first to put that to yes. So if it doesn't know the answer, it forwards first before it looks at its cache in this file uh, for that answer. And uh, you'll see that in a second. Let's escape there, colon, WQ, and that saved it. Now we're going to run the command unbound dash check comp. And that checks the files for any syntax errors. And we're good because it says no errors. That's what we want to see. Now we're going to revisit etsyrc.conf. And at the bottom of that file, we're going to uh, put in there unbound underscore enable equals yes in all caps. And this starts unbound when FreeBSD starts up. Save that again. And without rebooting, we're going to do service um, unbound start to make sure it's uh, starting up for us. Okay, uh, this may not happen to you. Um, we have a little bit of an error here. All right, we're all straightened around. I just had to manually um, stop unbound. Now we're going to do service unbound start. And now netstat dash an. And um, you want to see there it's listening on port 53. All right. Now what we're going to do is run tcp dump dash n for not resolving DNS names, i for the interface, and em0. And let's look for UDP port 53 traffic. And uh, what you do at this point, at least what I'm going to do, is I have a command prompt here. doesn't matter where you verify it, as long as it's a DNS client. Um, we're going to run nslookup. And let's set the server to our server's address. So what I want to do is uh, look for the IP of 
google.com. And if we come back over to our server, the what has happened is the client sent the uh, query for the A record of google.com. The server, because of the forward zone clause, has forwarded forwarded it onto one of our forward adder addresses. And then it's asking what's the IP address of google.com, the A record for that. And then the server on the internet responds to our unbound server we set up. And then it has the A record. So then the server responds to the client with the A record. So, and then of course, we're also asking for the IPv6, but we didn't put those in, but um, that's how this works though. At this point, you have a basic unbound uh, configuration. It's a recursive DNS server for you. If you wanna stick around, we're gonna cover split DNS. So for split DNS, let's control C out of that. And then let's go back into user local Etsy, unbound, unbound.conf. Now where split DNS goes into is the server uh, clause. And there is reasons like spam prevention, uh, um, email servers will look up domains that are inside of email headers and they'll use that to figure out if it's spam or not, um, as well as split DNS where you want clients inside of a company's network to access the internal IP while still using that domain name. So you don't have to fuss with anything inside of their computers or their software. Um, the, what, the people on the WAN though, will still get the public IP of that uh, resource. So that's some of the cool things about split DNS. And honestly, like we're gonna show here, as restricting access to websites is another uh, reason. So let's open a new line with O and enter down one time. And we wanna put in here local dash zone. So we're putting in a DNS zone, okay? So we're overriding what normally, you know, would be answered by a public DNS server. So we're gonna say some bad site dot com. It is uh, th that's the the zone we're putting in here, and its type is static. That has to go at the end. The data for this zone, th these are related to the records this zone. Um, holds about that this zone, the records this zone has because they can have many records of DNS. Um, and then we're gonna say somebadsite.com. The record we're putting in here is an internet record. It's an A record. And the answer for this A record, the IP, is gonna be loopback. And under that, the A record, we want to put a pointer uh, record type. And this is for reverse DNS. So it has a way to check the domain names um, the, if it's valid based on its IP address as well. That's why it's reverse. It's the opposite. Um, from there, for that, we're going to do the loopback IP first because it's what the IP address we had. Then we're going to do some bad site.com. So when you're done, you should have local zone, some bad site.com static, followed by local data, and then a local data pointer. But the local data is domain name first, the pointer's the opposite. So let's save that. Check the config. All right. Now, after you do this, you do want to restart Unbound. Let's check that it's listening. Good. And now we're going to rerun the same um, packet capture. And let's bring up that same test server. It's actually 
actually quick um, rerun that command. All right. Now we're going to look for somebadsite.com. Obviously, it has to be asking our DNS server. There's things you can do to force that to happen, but we're not going into that. And look at that. The A record in response is 127.001. So we're not going to be able to connect to that because that's just to test our TCP IP stack in our computer. So if we look, our client did the same thing. It just asked for the A record of that domain name. But because we put our own custom zone in Unbound, it automatically responded with that A record we put in as loopback. So there is our response going back. So the client won't be able to connect to that. Or as I said, with split DNS or no filtering, there, there's lots of reasons to um, make your own custom zones in Unbound. With all that, though, that's how you set up uh, an Unbound DNS server on FreeBSD. I hope this was helpful. And uh, as always, I'd like to thank you for viewing. And um, it's Tyler with T-Tech. And have a very nice day.